Getting into backcountry zones out in Whistler is unlike any experience that I've personally had before. There's something about these huge faces that almost seem like a world away. You prep the sled, start ripping out, and slowly the trees start to thin out and they start to disappear and all of a sudden you're above tree line and it just seems like it goes on forever. It just seems endless and there's so much opportunity out there. To have Haley be a part of the project Fleeting Time is super important. Super important for snowboarding. I think it's super important for women's snowboarding and it was super important to us going into this project and for her to come out, step up, film amazing footage, just really tied the whole thing together. My first influences in snowboarding would have to be Kimi Fasani was number one. Um, loved watching her snowboard, especially whether it was in the park or in the backcountry. I loved getting to watch her in all those old flicks. I was just so attached to like her smile and her charisma, and that's something that I try to carry in my snowboarding today. Not only in my riding, but also you know how I carry myself as a person. Kimi is like huge idol always and will be forever. She's amazing. Victoria Jalouse would have to be my second biggest idol. Just her backcountry riding is so inspirational. She hit all like the biggest stuff, almost as big as all the guys that she filmed with. And I think that that's really sick and something that I try to carry with me as well. Kimmy and Victoria are these women that kind of like push down the barriers for girls to get into these big productions with a lot of only male riders in a time when there weren't a lot of female snowboarders, so hoping to uh, take that with me and keep breaking down those barriers and hopefully get more, more girls in the backcountry. I feel like I kind of got thrown into the heavier contest scene like really early. I was probably only 13 or 14 competing with girls who are infinitely better than me and um, I just got really lucky and that progression just started to flow really quickly. It kind of just started to snowball and eventually I was competing across the world. 2016 X Games, that was the year that they brought back Women's Big Air and I went up there an hour before the contest started just because I was meandering and I kind of already thought I would drop out. But as soon as I got on the snowmobile and started to ride up and I saw what the girls were doing, like throwing down, a switch just flipped and I instantly was like, all right, you know what, if I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get invited, I'm gonna put my head down and try. The second time I tried to do a cab nine in practice, I went a little bit faster and spun really hard and I ended up just doing a perfect cap 10 to my toes and I just rode away. And my coach Dave was like, you just need to go do it again and then it's time to compete. So I did a front three, which is one of the easier tricks in snowboarding and that next time that I went up, I ended up doing it. I only had 10 seconds left on the clock, I think. And yeah, I ended up winning that event, which was pretty crazy. That was one of its kind. Like I remember that happened. It was top two most watched on ESPN the next day. Like that was like honestly one of the coolest things I've watched live in a long time. That cab 10 that Haley did at X Games was like an insane stepping stone for women's snowboarding and progressed the sport like tenfold in that moment. Not a bad day at the office for the 11th grader from San Clemente. I think I'd like rub shoulders with Haley like at some point, but I hadn't really met her, didn't really know her, definitely knew of her. And, you know, I helped put together and host this uh, kind of backcountry safety awareness and like snowmobiling skills camp. That's right when Haley got on Red Bull, getting the beanie and helmet, it's kind of part of their passing the torch, welcome to the team. That year that Aaron Blatt pretty much just told me to buy a sled and meet them in Tahoe to start filming for Joy. So that's, that's what got me in the doorway. Haley's always wanted to be in the backcountry and I think she learned quickly what it takes to be in the backcountry with owning your own sled, owning a truck, being able to drive far distances. And I think for her, that kind of made her excited. She like 
loves the idea of going out and filming with the boys and like being able to snowmobile and kind of get to where she needs to go. And I think that's been a pretty fun process for her. I went out with Haley a couple times when we filmed Joy, and then her Brock and Red went out and she filmed some really great clips. I think she did this front three down this cornice in Tahoe that is a super proper clip. I mean, I'm super honored and thrilled. I got to film with Ben for Joy and to join him again in this project was really, really cool. On this project, I was really psyched because Ben kept in touch with Red, Haley, Zoe the entire time and made sure that they were going to come link up with us in Whistler once the games wrapped in China. And I know that they heeded the call and hauled ass from China to Whistler and really stepped into the most productive five days we had of shooting for that movie. And that was like, I think the best thing for us at the moment, take that energy and put it right into going out in the backcountry there. You know, seeing Haley like live some of that balance, being able to show up, contest, do well at contests, and then go film. You know, it takes another level of, I think, being able to, you know, flip from like contest mode to then the freedom of the backcountry. Yeah, we got a quality from West Island. We can open up and wrap it up for a little. Bird. Oh my gosh. I swear, looking at this photo, you kind of like just relive that moment a little bit. Getting to put this one to my feet was definitely really cool and special, especially to have done it in front of my heroes. Like, I compete with Zoe all year long, and Curtis and Austin, like, kind of built the moment up to something even better, and no other trick has amounted to how good this one felt, for sure. Jeez. That front size seven is pretty ridiculous. It's proper. Haley does the best front seven I, I've ever seen from a female in the back. Of the incredible style. Kind of like similar to the cap 10 she did at X Games, this front seven is like the next stepping stone that she's taking to push the sport for women's snowboarding. I think that the Whistler trip that Haley had, like I think that her doing that front seven and going out into the backcountry there, like that's just a start for her and there's so much more that she wants to do in the backcountry.